Okay. You guys, this is like my second attempt at recording this. <laughs> I thought I was recording it twice now. Oh my gosh. All right, let me stop, rewind, show you guys where I'm at with this. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I caught myself. All right, so I originally made this card and this is what we're duplicating. And this is sponsored by the Not Too Shabby Shop. This stamp set is called Coffee Love. It's from Inky Antics. You get this large coffee mug, a heart, coffee beans, and these really cute sentiments. Sending a hug in a mug. Um, uh, coffee is a hug in a mug. Coffee, that's it. And then little instructions here for your recipient that say brush your fingers across the sequins to change their color, which I'm going to show you in a second. And I thought I had filmed this the first time, realized I wasn't filming it, went through and filming it again the second time, and I wasn't filming it again and just as I looked up to check the camera I realized it's not recording so where am I now on the video um, you can also get a matching set of coordinating dies with this which comes with the mug the heart and to cut out the coffee beans and what I've done is I've stamped out the images here which is the mug the beans and coffee that's it with some detailed ink this is Brutus Monroe detail ink then after I stamped everything out, I took this stencil also from the Not Too Shabby Shop and I will link everything down below in the description for you along with a discount code. Um, this is from Picket, Picket Fence Studios and it's called Knots, Knots Scales, okay? So I thought it looked cool. I just took a little bit of Distress Oxide Squeeze Lemonade and a makeup brush and put that over. So once I stamped, then I stenciled, okay? Um, now I'm on the third part, which is coloring it in. And I just put an X here to remind myself I don't need to color that in. That's going to get cut out. But I just took some brown inks and tried to color kind of like this wooden tabletop. And I'm just coloring the mug now. So now you're all caught up to where I thought I was <laughs> in this video for you. We're gonna get to the fun part, which is adding the sequins. Um, what I said is the stamp set is really versatile because you could just stamp it out and color it in and send it that way. Um, you can stamp it out and make a shaker card out of it, or you can do the mermaid sequins. So, um, and then with the die set, you don't have to use the stamp set you could use the die because it cuts out the center here and just drew like a wine glass. Um, but Inky Antics has quite a few stamps that go with this Mermaid Sequins um, interactive card set. And they have like a nail polish bottle. They have a mermaid tail. They have balloons, cupcakes. And if you go back and check my history from Christmas, you'll see that there were a few um, cards that I did and a few videos. And I did like large Christmas tree dies or large ornament dies. I think I did um, for Valentine's. I did some large hearts. So it's just a lot of fun to make these interactive cards. So I'm just going to go in with some different shades of blue here. Try to clean this up. I'm like laughing at myself that I thought I was filming this twice. And not only did I not film it the first time, but I didn't even film it the second time. I downloaded this new camera app onto my iPad, you guys, and has a pause button on it because a lot of times I need to like get up and get something and before I wasn't able to do that so now I can pause and not have to worry about that all right so this is TB9 which again is a spectrum more and like I said you don't have to worry about where the X is because that's going to be cut out and I pick this color because the color sequence that we're going to be using um, have a dark navy on one side. I can't believe I missed that twice. All right, but we're moving on to the good parts. So basically you just missed me coloring it in. I think you'll be okay. On the other card, um, I am using 110 pound Nina cardstock. Um, I did it directly on the card itself. And then I just put a piece of cover stock behind that. Um, but you can see the finished card here. I did like a marbled tile, I guess a marbled countertop. And here is the fun of it. So this is the part we're going to do now, which is adding sequins. 
So to add the sequins, first we're going to die cut it. And again, it comes with the matching dies. Or not, it doesn't come with matching dies. You can get matching dies. Excuse me. I don't want to give anybody the wrong information here. You can purchase a bundle from the Not Too Shabby Shop, which has um, the dies, the cup, and um, the dies, the stamps, and I believe the sequins. But I will link everything down below for you. I'm going to just run this through my Gemini Junior. So you can see the center of the mug is nice and cut out. And now we're going to add the sequins. So I like to use red liner tape. I believe that red liner tape is super strong. I would not recommend using um, any kind of just normal um, runner, like tape runner or regular glue. It needs to be like super adhesive. Probably fabric glue would be really good. Um, just remember, it's you know, it takes a little bit for it to dry. And you want to get pretty close to the die, um, the die cut area here. For the top, I'm going to use a little bit thicker red liner. Can it go to the stamp show this year and buy some more? <laughs> okay, now this tape is super, super strong adhesive. Just burnish that down a little bit, make sure it's on that cardstock. Okay, and then before you release the liner, you want to cut enough fabric. This fabric is, um, they call it reversible sequin fabric. This one is colored iridescent copper to royal blue, but there are different colors. And the last card I did, I did the rainbow down. For this one, I think I'll do the dark blue, the navy part down. So I always want to push my sequins down to starting location. Make sure they're all nice and flat. And then... I'm going to cut a piece of this off, so I'm going to cut this extra black piece off the top here. And it is a little messy when you're cutting it. So you're going to get bits all over your desk, but you can keep those bits and put them in shaker cards. I'm just trying to make sure that all my sequins are turned over in the right direction before I cut it. So you can see here they're all that kind of dark navy color. And you want to cut just the right amount. You do not want this short. If you cut it too short, then it's going to lift off of your cardstock and it's just, it's not going to be very pretty. So, and that does stretch a little bit, but you don't want to stretch it too much. Okay. Very easy to cut with some heavy duty scissors. So you can see all of these sequins fell off and more will fall off. It's fine. Okay, so at this point, again, making sure all my sequins are the right way, trying to pull off any extra hanging sequins off before we do the assembly here. Okay. I think that's the only hard part about this this tape is it sticks so well that the liner doesn't want to come off. All right. 
my pokey tool and stab at it. There we go. Okay. Got all of that out of the way. Okay, I'm going to make sure. I'm going to start at the bottom here, make sure I have this lined up at the bottom. And then I kind of like to just stretch it a little bit, make sure it's nice and tight on there. I'm press that down really well into my red liner tape. Okay. And so now this one is using the same fabric, but it's the opposite way because I put it on top to bottom. So the sequins go like this. They go to that iridescent copper, but they start off as navy. Isn't that fun? And then this one is the opposite. It has that iridescent copper and then moves over to the navy. And like I said, there's a little directional um, stamp in there. So when you're mailing this, if you want to stamp that on the inside cover. So then all we have to do with this panel now is just make sure we have some good adhesive, maybe some foam tape on here, and then attach it to the front of a card. So there we go, guys. Sorry, you didn't get to see my coloring. <laughs> or the first video, but at least I figured it out really quick. I'll link everything down below for you. Again, video is sponsored by the Not Too Shabby Shop, and you can pick up all of these items. This is, again, called the Coffee Love Clear Set, um, and then you get the, you can purchase the stamp set. You can get the dies, which I do recommend to have that fun interactive element. And also you can get the reversible sequin fabric, which is also known as mermaid fabric because it has mermaid, se mer mermaid sequins fabric. So a lot of fun, very easy to do. Don't forget the stencil that I use to do the background. The stencil is from Picket Fence Studios, and again, it's called Knots Scales. Very, very easy to do. So all of these you can pick up in one place at the Not Too Shabby Shop. There is a discount code down below in the description for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything I did, comment down below. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, click the little button that's going to come up in the bottom right hand corner. Click the bell and you'll get notifications whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, keep on stamping. Bye-bye.